Hello guys, today I will talk a little about this one. It's a mini UPS and I am going to install this between my Udroid microcomputer that I run Home Assistant on and the grid. So this is going to power my microcomputer if the grid fails for around one to two hours. And why do I have to do that, you might think? Well, it is like this. When I lose the grid power, my home assistant will be standing there without any power and then it cannot transfer the information to my inverter that hey, the grid has failed, please raise the discharge current up to let's say 25 amps and start to create some AC power to this guy's house. Well, that information cannot be transferred without power. So when the grid fails and I have this between my microcomputer and the grid, then the microcomputer will always have power and will then be able to tell my inverter to go into EPS or off-grid mode. So I had a really hard time in that video when I tried this out and uh, normally this is not a problem. Let's say if the energy prices are high, well then my inverter automatically will switch over to EPS because it is already standing on battery power. And uh, now when the energy prices has been so cheap, it is disconnected from the battery or not disconnected, but it is standing there and just having the battery as a backup. And uh, that will work just fine if this little microcomputer just has power, but now it has and probably it will work just fine. So we are going to open up this box and see what we will find inside. And uh, if it seems to be good, simply as that. And sorry for the bad light, I am in a hotel room. So that's why we have to take it as it is. And I thought that why not just kill some time and uh, do this little video for you guys. So here we go, let's open up this box. So here we have some cables. And I actually thought that I had to create those myself. But it's great that uh, they are with this little EPS unit. So you will connect this one between your router or your Raspberry Pi or your Udroid that has Home Assistant on it and this EPS unit or UPS unit. So you will have two of those. Then we will have an USB to some other kind of connector. I don't know the size or name for this one. And then we have some more adapters and that just, and that is just great. I mean, perfect. And some instructions. And a quick user manual. Once again, sorry for the bad light. And uh, well, this one is rated to 32.58 watt hours. So it can probably power your uh, router for at least one hour but on this one we have more than one output and then if you use more than one router your time or user time there will of course drop a lot so first of all we have a on button here and then we have a usb port and then we have two 12 volt outputs and then we also have an input port here so this will be this side will be connected to the grid and this is the EPS or UPS outputs. And then we have uh, two amps on the five volt output and the, the other two are rated to one amp and two amps. So that's great. Really simple and uh, 
I am looking forward to try this out. So let's turn it on. And uh, yes, we have 75% of state of charge. And uh, let's turn it off here. Okay. Double click to turn it off. So this is what you will find inside of this box. So there it is. I am looking so much forward to try this out. Thank you guys for letting me know about this one. I didn't know that those small UPS units existed until you wrote it in a comment in that off-grid video I posted earlier. Thank you so much. All right, now I just have to stay here for a few more days and then I will go home again and try this system out. Thank you so much for watching and I hope I see you next time. Take care and goodbye.